Welcome everybody. Oh, you bet you're shocked it's not Sprawl doing the intro. He's in the bathroom. Winter I am not. Action. That's not oh, true. You're, you're lying to the whole audience, Laser. Just kidding. Maybe, I was. All right. Maybe you're onto something. But so we're live. First, first time I get to do an intro in God knows how long, and then you interrupt me. <laughs> I am so sorry, Laser. This is just the way our partnership works, apparently. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you take this around. Perfect. <laughs> Games Academy. Rotating felts as well as any to the truck. Interesting, and everybody comes out squeaky for sponsor lists. Games Academy, they have a massive flank underway. Kind of a perfect anti strat Oh, Showtime backstabbing else. He was trying to play on the boost. And yeah, now they know Showtime's coming from behind. Twister onto Lucas. Excellent shot from Ocean onto Showtime. They allow Henny into the bomb site and already sticking the bomb was Phelps, but dealt with by Twister. Only bolts. And he does find a head in invert. Ocean takes him down in the end, though, and sponsorless. Pick up the T side pistol. I almost got scared for a second for former SKDC. Their call was to collapse on that last guy instead of forcing him to make the first move. Everybody went for the frag, and he got the first one in almost the second. Just can't complete it after that. An aggressive start out of SKDC, former Lee. I suppose you know what you're or you know what I'm talking about by now. The Games Academy had two members at the truck, nobody at the bomb site, and SKDC send nobody out a main. Instead, three out squeaky into the bomb site. So there's no uh, sort of guaranteed intel there for Games Academy. SKDC slowly lurking up to the B-bomb site, and this is risky in that they have invert watching from behind, but they haven't probed any other locations. To be fair, though, there isn't necessarily a stack, but let's see, Lucas Falls helps to follow as well. I was thinking maybe Henny and Bolts would show up a little sooner, but it doesn't look like it makes a difference. Bolts with two headshots. Looking a little bleak now as they'll lose a teammate in middle. And, and he was trying to go for the cross shot into the bomb site onto the bomber. I don't think he would have got the kill anyways. Bolt's gonna wound the players in the site. And Ocean taking a lot of damage. Maybe if any can get some more damage in, it might be possible. But they are just gonna save the 5 7 and Scout. And I like this from them. The chances of them retaking with Bolt's HP is really low. So why not give uh, Bolt's another chance to work that 5 7 and any with the Scout? Looks to be the case here. And sponsorless on their end. Yeah, three left up. Else is actually looking like... I think he spotted them at quad. He's going to be heading up a highway ramp. Henny looking for an interesting jump shot here. But I think else... Uh, they, they know how impressive Henny is with scope rifles. They're like, nah. We've, we've lost enough, I feel. And in the end, though, they do uh, aggress a little bit onto the highway, but... 2-0. I, I like how they didn't commit to the aggression. Like, they thought about it. Right? It was kind of, yeah, it was pretty cautious. That That's a good feeling if you're a Henny. <laughs> They're just that, that intimidated by you. Maybe if he looks back on the on the demo, of course, he was just hiding. We'll see now if these two saved weapons can do some more damage. Of course, the rest not going to upgrade. I'd like for them to stack around anymore. They just have Lucas at the B bomb site, so it is a minor A stack now grouping up with four people, maybe even everybody. So Intel early for Lucas. Is he gonna fall all the way back to the A bomb site? If this is a commitment onto A, this is gonna be pretty bad for SKDC. Though with how patient they've been, we didn't get to see a lot of it on Dust 2 with their anti-ecos, but the one that I remember was very clean and very meticulous that they weren't gonna run into a stack, and that's what we're seeing here. Nice and slow play, spread out, poking everywhere, just trying to see if they can gain intel on how many players are playing where. And they still have time to fall back here. Yeah, exactly. To. And they're taking some long distance angles, nifty, finding the first one, and considering Lucas is rotating in, well, I can assume, well, I would not necessarily they can assume that it's clear, but, and probably not necessarily stacked, but nonetheless, three left up for the Games Academy side. Showtime falls to Twister. And it looks like Phelps is just going to get out of there. Bolt's going to play an angle from underneath heaven. Actually, Phelps not getting out of there. He's just playing a truck. So they're looking for some exit frags here. Is somebody going to keep the scout next round? Phelps? All right, it won't be, won't be a question. Bolt could hang on to his head armor, though. That's a little bit of damage. Ocean, I don't think he's in the area to pick up another rifle or the fallen rifle of his teammate. So 
have to upgrade there, but Sponsorless doing a nice job of keeping a ton of players alive coming into this first gun round, so they'll have a buffer behind them to buy from Games Academy, and actually any not deciding to save up fully for an AWP because he went for that scout. And we can see Lucas and Showtime will be rocking the FAMAS. They've got full utility, though, so I'm kind of opting for that. I do believe Lucas, for example, at 4,300. Could have made it work with a vested NM4, but again, utility. Very important here, as we can see Sponsorless set up for a B-side take. I was just theory. about to throw the Molly into vents, too. Oh, that's exactly like it. Yeah, that's that's definitely the lineup that you look for, and here we go. So Phelps is going to be in vents, and they've got multiple players just waiting for him to drop. Love this play. Nice play from Phelps, though. A good counter. Just push out into middle. Of course, you're vulnerable to... Ooh, taking a little bit more damage. Not done yet, Phelps. Uh, it's vulnerable to a person pushing out middle, but they're expecting him to drop B main, and he might not even recognize. He gets a freebie onto Nifty and gets out of there. That's so slick by Phelps. SKDC thought it was clear, and now Phelps almost gets three of them. Invert hits a nice shot to at least counter, bring it back a little bit. Now a three on four. But it looked like SKDC thought that it was clear based upon that Molotov. If you don't have anybody watching middle, you can't assume that for certain. It'll be in their mind later on. But opening up, SKDC, their timing is extremely on point. I, it didn't look like that was their plan, but then Els just slowly started creeping his way back. I'm wondering if this is their default or if that was just a set play towards checkers. We'll find out later. But Bolts in the shroud spot. His first rotate will be any. But it's going to come down to if SKDC check it. Let's see else. He is looking up that direction, but he's not going to actually check it. And that's very important here for Games Academy. Bolts take it down two. Second one, he's fairly white screen. And not much left needed on the invert to put him down. So Games Academy winning that round. They're able to get an op from it. And they survive with four. That is a massive gun round from them. With an already tattered economy as well. That's fantastic for that bank. And nobody checking the shroud spot for bolts. One of the players was peeking up there from inside of A main. But nobody upon entry into the bomb site actually checked it. KDC going with what looks to be a fast A play. Games Academy have three members mid, so this retake, or at least the rotates, will be really fast. And they still have two players in the bomb site, so this is looking good for the CTs. Bolts dropping a Molotov towards Squeaky. Twister does refrag on a Phelps, but time chiming in. Looking good here for Games Academy. Ocean and Invert stuck in no man's land. And Lucas. Able to take down Invert, traded by Ocean, but he's known to be at Forklift. And Showtime, Death from Above, gets the job done. So another round, keeping three alive as well. Nice work from Games Academy, and now an Eco coming their way. That was a massive round. SKDC could have busted the economy of Games Academy there. But with the three-man mid setup, rotate would have been really quickly if required, but the players inside the site got it done as well. So now the safe. Three smokes, no flashes, all glocks. This is going to be creative out of SKDC. And they're probably going to have one for... I mean, it's hard to predict. With these three smokes, they have no entry fragging capability. It's, they're just going to shroud their way into the bomb site. Let's see here. So with three, I imagine one is going to be for truck. One is going to be for fence, which they'll try and plant in. And one towards fork. That is my best guesstimate here. And it looks to be, okay, one was for Kappa, I gotcha. So, that's the idea though, they're gonna try and get it down inside of the smoke. Bolt is near, and Ocean is now looking to get it planted, and it looks like they will get it down. So, mission accomplished. It's all they were looking for, and to be fair, they got bolts as well, so... Um, not a bad round, and that, that's the kind of smoke strat that you can see how kind of potent it is, smoking off those angles. Yeah, Games Academy could push their way and hold the T side of those smokes, but then you're kind of playing into the close range pish pistol fights that Monsterless is looking for. Yeah, you so see you're risking, what, 900 to win an extra 4,000 across the board, and it pays off for the SKDC, uh, SKDC side, granting them almost full utility. It's like Ocean decides he doesn't need any. Fancy stuff out of SKDC. I'm, I'm actually surprised the bomb went down considering how many CTs were in this site. Spamming into the smoke, but just couldn't find the frag. Games Academy, it's like we're seeing what we saw in Dust 2, that versatile defense. 
And this time they go with the aggression into the squeaky room on another gun round from SKDC. And they're continuing it. Ooh, look at this fancy boost. I like it. They leave Showtime up in that position. I don't think I've ever seen someone play that spot. And I imagine SKDC would be caught off guard if they do decide to head towards Squeaky. And we can see the bomb is waiting outside of B. So in that regard, he may decide to hit this bomb site. And they would not have to deal with that at all. To be fair, if they went through A main, they wouldn't either. But we'll see here. Invert looking for a pick in middle. I think that's kind of what they're waiting for for a moment. But now grouping up the bomb on Ocean. Inside of Sunroom, it's going to get the help of Invert, and it looks like Elson Twister will go through vents. I'm not a fan of the two in sight setup. The Molotov's going to clear some positions out, but there's so many members of Games Academy here, and the flank, they're just collapsing from all angles. I don't know how SKDC win this round. If they do, it's a miracle. The flank comes through. Two easy flags for yes. showtime. I thought he got three, but indeed it was two. Games Academy read that situation perfectly. They they were already retaking before the take came through. Yeah, I didn't see when Showtime decided. I, obviously, there was a timing where he's like, all right, I'm going to continue moving forward, leave this boost, and see what kind of info I can gather. And he gathered so much just walking uh, in that direction. Didn't hear anything in A-Main, just continued through that mid-warehouse. And yeah, like you had stated, surrounded once they hit B. So we'll see what SKDC can do here. Uh, since the rifle rounds, Games Academy looking very strong. And yeah, I love their set plays. First frag in that last round, Nifty flashed his way into that squeaky hallway. Ooh. Oh boy, Twister hitting heads. The legendary op of any. Looking trivial right now. <laughs> Getting one dig. Sick peek by Twister. It looked like it was a pre-fire. Otherwise, he has the reactions of something not human but showtime does bring it back still a lot of d so we're going to see skdc work and picks for a while and games academy i think they're more dangerous than other ct teams with a bank it might seem a little redundant but why i say that is because of their willingness to go for adjustments and set plays on their ct side before the opposition has forced them to do so and that can backfire as well, but it, it's it's really hard to predict what these guys are going to do. And having to win multiple rounds in a row when you know you're going to receive a different look is difficult. Twister tags up bolts and an invert finishes him off. But it's only else now, and Showtime will be able to deal with him. So Showtime, three on the round. He did whiff a couple shots in the middle, but gets the job done in the end. Games Academy now on five. They've got 1,100, or 11,000, rather. 1,100 wouldn't be so good. 11,000 on Lucas, and, well, cue the Scar 20. And he's sitting cozy as well, 11K. So, it looks like the, the other brother has had enough. I can play with these scoped weapons as well. Not all the glory to the maybe better half. That spawns Sir Liss. Tentative setup, and this time Games Academy don't go with any aggression. This is what I'm talking about here. Sponsorless waiting so tentatively for what could happen out of Games Academy, but this round they decide not to aggress anything. They're so versatile. Yeah, you can see Nifty waiting for someone potentially towards Squeaky. He's going to hop through there. Provide a little bit of spam, but here's uh, the aggression. They make their way into A main, Showtime dealing with Twister, and now the player advantage. And now the firing squad. <laughs> I'm gonna try and just. That's a lot of info. Just hearing AK after AK spamming through that uh, that garage door, attempting to take down Showtime. But as we can see, it didn't do anything. So now sponsorless stuck outside of a main. They've got some smokes to play with, and considering how well that bomb plant went with only Glocks, maybe they can make it work. But Games Academy with five up, and with uh, Lucas with an auto that could potentially just spam through one of these smokes. He's playing a Z right now. You might not see that coming to uh, effect, but still, this is going to be rough. I'm taking in now. It's one for one in the bombsite. Helps on top of Electric. He goes down, and suddenly things falling apart at the A bombsite for Games Academy, and they got an entry frag here earlier. Now Eni and Bolts looking to retake. These guys are pretty clutch. Now, SKDC definitely not out of this, and the Molotov in the hands of Eni. This could go either way. 
so nifty playing towards forklift. He does get spotted by Henny that Molotov allowed him to peek out or forced him to peek out a little bit. So it's Elson Ocean just buying as much time as they can. Henny looking for some spray. He will drop a smoke on the bomb and does take down the first one. Else drops him in the end though. An SKDC. They will be able to pick up. Um, to be, yeah, it's the first rifle round after winning the three after pistol, or I guess two after pistol. So four rounds for them now, and big one underway as we can see the CT sat economy. Uh, Henny picking up that AWP. It still has a little bit Next left into level it, tapped. but they win a round and then they call the pause. I really like that. <laughs> I, I'm i curious what we're going to see in this next round after building off of that. Usually you see it when it's just teams just in, not looking confident at all. They've lost a ton in a row. This right. is like, okay, preemptive. That worked. We're not doing that great on the form of ideas, though. Let's take a pause, make sure this next one works out. And I, I really like that as well because there's a lot to talk about for the Games Academy defense. That round was the first time they staggered their timing. Not 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 only if they're going to aggress, but they do aggress, and then the timing is delayed. It's uh, it was around 110, one the one minute mark that they pushed in to A main and got themselves the opening kill. Still managed to lose the round somehow in the five on four. But I just love what I'm seeing out of this defense. But it does backfire. Now sponsorless, I'd love to be in in their team speak mumble whatever right now. Is what is being discussed? What are they possibly thinking that Games Academy could do? Because Games Academy, they're excellent at not giving any any tells away of, of what their what their strategy is going to be. Yeah, you know they're going to aggress sometimes, but if they don't, and then you spend too much time waiting for the aggression to come through, then suddenly you're forced to do something late round you don't want to do. I I don't know, Chad. There, there, there's there's so much to talk about on the CT side of Games Academy. Now, one thing interesting to note is Showtime is at 14, 2, and 4, whereas he, I think, ended with two frags in the last round on Dust2 and put him up to eight frags. So, already, he's being very impactful here. And, uh, well, that's good news for Games Academy, because, to be fair, we saw pretty much everybody else firing on all cylinders for that GA side, except for Showtime. Um, but now he's bringing it here and now, and pretty important considering it's the opponent's map choice. So, unpause has been called for. Let's see what we got. The B rush, right? Just <laughs> bet it on the B rush. That'd be the, that'd be the ultimate switch. So curious. If I was a cat, I'd be dead at this point. <laughs> that was gonna happen here between these two squads. So it looks like it'll be a late round adjustment out, out of sponsor list because they know Games Academy want to aggress and they really like to aggress and constantly switching up their setups. So I believe this will be. A late adjustment, but now it's Ocean. Where else was last time? He'll throw the Molotov to push off Vents if it was there. So it looks like they must have just discussed what, what could happen at the beginning of the round. Yeah, interesting stuff. As Henny was posted up in A main, so you can see no one's coming from that direction. It looked like Ocean put a little noise towards Squeaky again, and then yeah, that Molotov comes in. But Luke is hitting a very nice shot, hopping on B. And this has slowed things down significantly. Invert with eight hit points. He's making sure that they don't boost in the bomb site itself and take a peek into Sun Room. But Ocean heading for middle. Bolt's gonna peek wide, but Showtime underneath the boost. Excellent crossfire, and this has fallen apart for SKDC. Definitely, and this round would put them on potentially a double save. Games Academy facing a save themselves upon losing. SKDC just don't seem to be winning those rounds that put Games Academy on that eco they didn't win pistol they'd be getting wrecked right now but so far entry into the b-bomb site over the top though is bold else last man standing so many CTs around him Oof. lucas point blank with the awp puts him out six four now for games academy and it's it's frustrating for sponsor list because if you're games academy what looks weak right now the a-bomb site sponsor list try to hit that b-bomb site and get a little mid control but they just give up frags yeah, and I think that that was actually a really cool play from Lucas. I'm just thinking about it in, in hindsight. So, SKDC Molotov into Vents. No one's in it, but Lucas has an op in Checker. That is a free pass to pre-fire. Well, not a free pass to pre-fire to be made because 
the, you kind of know they're going to be there. If they tried that set play already where they're having pe play pro people wait and be main again, um, Lucas just reading into that takes down the first one very quickly. I think that's, I think that, that's where that's a really good point. Well, so just what a count it up like that. Yeah. Anybody falls off events, you're looking for that player to fall off events, but then a swift pre-fire or a swift peek by an op. I mean, yeah, from it, checkered on that lower angle. Oh man. Yeah. Unless you hit an immediate headshot or the other opera just flicks you, that should be a guaranteed kill. So really heads up play there from Lucas. And sponsorless losing the round before the one that we just talked over. <laughs> uh, that, that kind of forced them onto eco. But they're back on a buy now. Uh, to be fair, though, SKDC getting nothing done in that last round. No bomb plant or anything of the sort. And moving into this round, you can see they definitely wanted that. Uh, they got three Galils to work with. And, well, we'll see where they decide to go with things. Henny pushed up into Squeaky, looking for his op angle. Nifty is going to be waiting. Let's see how far Henny moves up here and if he gets caught out. I know I keep highlighting it, but the CT defense, it, it's so shifty. How, how do you preempt what they're doing if they're doing something different all the time? Sick stuff out of Games Academy. Going for mid control here. This hasn't worked out too many times for SKDC. The bomb else outside of B are opening up really passively. They're going to double smoke mid. They do have Phelps. He is the lone man at mid trying to spam through. SKDC waiting for it. And, ooh, Phelps. He's going to try to push through. Oh, he's getting spammed a little bit. Looking for a trace that he can fire back at, but instead. He's going to bide his time. He finds Invert, but traded off by Nifty. So, aggressive play, but they're going to try and further onto the B-bomb site. Else and Twister taking down players. Only Bolts and Henny left at A. I'm wondering if they're going to retake. They have the money to do so. If they win this round, it's massive. Still no bomb plant. Any arriving. Now look for the bomb planter. He's posted up. Peeking Heaven is pretty dangerous at this point. Bolt's going to join him. Force somebody off of the bomb planting position. Try to give any a target. But the smoke a bit shallow, and Twister will not be forced out of the bomb site. At this point, might be looking at a save from Games Academy, but time to be a hero. Bolts pushes in, else peaks heaven. And he's been waiting so patiently up there, but gets dropped. Now the next big one. If SKDC can win this one, they still could win the half. Yeah, they kept four alive in that last run as well, so immediately a bit of a bank being secured. Lucas Um, is that... What is going on? Okay, Lucas, let's see what you got. You can't Picking even make up. the excuse for a fat finger. Right? Like, I don't even know. That's a completely different category. Man, I wish he at least just picked up a bunch of decoys and started hucking them everywhere, like the ultimate troll, but no, I'm not going to go on that. <laughs> uh, so he plays Highway with it. The M249. I'm trying to, like, just envision the buy menu and what... I just don't know what he was going for. Hopefully he flips on the aimbot or something, because he doesn't even have a skin for this weapon, <laughs> which makes me think he doesn't he doesn't use it often. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what this is, but I haven't seen this gun utilized in competitive play in quite some time. Some may even consider it's it a It's not even a Negev, right? It's not, it like, at least go with the Negev. He's got the M249, but, oh man, they've got a smoke being dropped. There's still an angle in it, so... I feel like, I'm trying to remember back to the last time we saw SKDC, if that was an issue as well. There's another team that we definitely highlighted. Their, their Fork Smoke con consistently gave a gap there. But we'll see if this uh, ends up working against them. They're going to drop a new set of smoke, so that should solve the issue in some regard. Lucas going to be playing on front of it, though. He takes yes. down two immediately with the M249. And he's going to continue. He gets a third with it, looking for the headshot on Invert. But it won't be so. And if you're SKDC, how do you mentally deal with that? Yeah, because it's not an accidental buy. It's, it's not like he has an auto or, so, or something random within the rifle menu. That was intentional, so it would seem. And that's the sort of buy. What kind of team is Games Academy? If you're not getting a tongue lashing from your coach for buying an M249, I don't know what's <laughs> going on over there. Well, to be fair, the name of their coast is Peacemaker, so maybe he's just doing it in a way that he's just like not, he's not getting it across. <laughs> he shouldn't be picking up the M249, but any, to, to be fair though, you look at that play and he did all right with it, so, uh, and he doesn't have it anymore, so he has given it up. Uh, maybe that's the new role that we need. We got managers, we got coaches, now we just need mediators in NACS <laughs> to deal with all the rage. 
Oh, that's not a bad idea, to be fair. All right. Anyhow, eight talk to five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, guys. We can talk this out perfectly rationally. Let's get see with a pretty kitchen sink of a buy here. We got Invert and Nifty with upgraded pistols, three AKs on the field. And, well, Games Academy not lacking anything, really. Uh, not full. Lacking just a little. Sponsorless. They're going to be going for a mid to B. Phelps inside the vents. He made the sick maneuver before, but sponsorless this time. Looks like they're going to have players at middle if Phelps tries to do the same maneuver. Actually, no smoke or no Molotovs in the sponsorless side in a preemptive B step with the information that Showtime's getting on the push. Now sponsorless don't even have time to fall back. They're forced to commit into a stack. Yeah, this is not looking good. Nifty takes down Phelps. Penny, I think we have to shot, but it's going to remain in safety inside of the bomb site. Lucas through the smoke, takes down Ocean and Else the clutch. Finds a nice headshot to start, but Penny with the USPS takes down a fully blind Else. And Games Academy looking pretty darn good here on the CT side. Sponsorless with no money moving into the final round of the first half. I think that pause wrecked him. Right. They got two in their own heads. Uh, to be fair, to like go back to that, they, they tried to like fake A a little bit and, and go towards B because that A take maybe worked out. But yeah, it did not pan out at all, and it's been downhill since. It's what's been going on. I, I like the idea in, in that situation out of SKDC. If they don't lose those players, then it, it's probably effective. But if you do lose those players and the players that killed them call that nobody else is at the A side, well, pretty easy adaptation from the Games Academy side. Pistols across the board from former SKDC. They're going to go for the A play once more. But again, Games Academy, they, they've stacked all the right bomb sites. It's yeah, looking really solid here. Four players on the bomb site already. Showtime. Let's call it an incendiary out, but actually looking the wrong direction was the player. Could have fragged him. 50 with one. And he will find a little bit more damage on the bolts, but that's going to be half. 10 to 5. Uh, is a bit of a CT favorite map, but I wouldn't put it that favored. So Games Academy definitely uh, putting up the round count they're looking for. Sponsorless, on the other hand, considering it's their map choice, need to come back on the CT front. It's that pivotal pistol, Chad. Mm. Yeah. I'm wondering for former SKDC as well. Like, Invert on Dust 2, it was a key point in the match. It was a three-on-three. -three. It was where SKDC may have built their comeback if they won. And Invert peaks a lot wider at long. And... Perhaps I'm thinking too deep into it, but what that told to me was that, like, we see we seen it in the previous time when he's assisting Ocean as well, is Invert over-peaking, like, compensating for, like, if he, does he think he needs to go for those kills? And if it gets down to it, I, I think Invert will take the fights. That SKDC frag sheet not looking so hot, and yeah, Invert, unfortunately, at the bottom of it right now. Five frags, Nifty right up next, and... Um, I did get the information in between maps. Nifty is uh, an opera, so them playing that new setup like on Dust2, not a big surprise. I think they'll try and get away with that where whatever map they can really uh, perform it on. And, um, well, to be fair, this is a map that if they can get it going, we, we saw Lucas and Henny doing it in the last half. They can definitely uh, make it work, but we'll see if they can make it that far, financially speaking. As we go live into second pistol round of the second map. Let's take a look at the equipment. Armor on three. See what Nifty decides to pick up. Invert will be the utility player. And yeah, just a nade on Invert and a kit. Everybody else with armor. And they'll have uh, Molotov to work with on Henny. That makes me think they will execute onto A potentially here. With that being used towards squad? Mm, that's my best guess. It's a really big position to take out of the equation. So i do agree with you i think that will be where it's placed but nifty so far that's one frag from the truck a lot of times your truck player doesn't get any on the a site execute as the bomb will go down highway control for games academy there's so many members peeking it from skdc though and any and bolts left to clutch so henny's at squeaky he's lining up an angle for his molotov as soon as he hears the bomb being tapped i imagine he goes for it here we go he dumps it but I think Invert with a kit, yeah, he actually gets this before that even spreads to him. So, uh, SKDC with a flawless round. And although it didn't make much of a difference, even though Henny didn't use that Molotov on quad, I think that was the idea. But when you see someone holding a truck like that, 
that could have just been their read that, well, they're playing retake on this bomb site. But like you stated, nice work from Nifty getting one from Truck. And that that one man truck, it most of the time it means that it is a vacant bomb site on on the A side. I don't see a lot of teams just peeking truck and then hiding other players inside of A with how weak the B bomb site can be on pistol rounds. Maybe in the future, who knows? Force spy out of surprise buy out of Games Academy. They got the bomb down previously. You've heard me cast before. This is one of the only two situations where I consider it a force or a surprise buy anymore. After you get the bomb plant down and not save any case upon losing pistol, but two tech nine frags from the brothers. That was massive. So they dump a smoke front sight plant inside of it. And I believe it was Ocean just could not get a re... One thing I see... I'll, I'll highlight it after, actually. We'll see if this retake works out. Twister onto Bolts. It's a three-on-three. Three, and very quickly, only Henny left. One with the Tech-9. Two more to deal with, though. Trying to play the 1v1 versus else. But he will fall, so... Um, taking down three and getting a bomb plan. They did fully invest in the round, but at least it kind of stifles the CT's economy a bit. Uh, but what I was getting at is, yeah, that front side smoke... A lot of times, players will know exactly where the smoke, like, where they want to plant, the other team that is, coming in. And you're the CT, but they always spam way too high laser. I just don't know what that is. They'll hear the numbers being pressed and expect them to be standing in the smoke. And they just, can again, Ocean didn't, I don't think he hit a bullet on that player. Yeah, it's autopilot, I guess. Just where you think they're going to be. But, yeah, crouching and then planting the bomb. I'm not sure if it adjusts your model anymore. I, I'd assume so. No, I just mean when you're planting, you're, you're already crouched, right? Or you yeah. are crouched. So them spamming at head level, that's the part that I didn't understand. But anyhow. It makes sense, though. Like everybody crouches when they're planting. Coming exactly. out mid. Games Academy. They have mid smoked off or Z smoked off. That's Twister playing there. Invert grabbing a kill from the A bomb site. Twister jumping through the smoke that... Uh, there's no way Games Academy can recover that rifle, though. And with Invert playing Warden, I don't think so. Yeah, they would pick it up for a moment there on Lucas, but immediately dispatched of. And any trying to bait out an op shot from Quad, but Invert is actually rotating in a way that he's very low. And wow. from Henny at long distance, he'll fall. I'm, Does he I'm get curious a bomb plan why here? Invert wanted to rotate out, but... There must have been some sort of call. Else comes on in and will prevent that bomb plant. But yeah, that almost worked out for Henny in the form of that bomb plant. There's, he should not have been allowed to even get a kill in that situation. <laughs> like with the Glock, you're solo with the bomb. It's way too late to do a QB sneak. Just caught out his invert in the double op setup. We saw it from the brothers, Enrique and Lucas. But now it's the CT's turn, and this is risky early on, because that's a whole lot of money invested. They do have a ton of money, though, so they still have almost a full buy. Only Twister unable to afford some utility. Games Academy, looks like they're priming up for an A-take. The only A-take player goes down. Invert continues to struggle. Yeah, that is not a good look for him at all. And now Else and Ocean heading to the bomb site. They've got Twister as well. So to be fair, they've got three there, and the first frag does go the way of Ocean. A second one through the smoke. Else spotting out Phelps towards Redbox. And he'll spot Henny up to the forklift. Phelps dropping Else, but taking a lot of damage. And it's only Lucas now. Games Academy. They found that opener, but again, sponsorless. Nice work. Specifically, Ocean, again, quietly moves up on the catwalk, finds the first headshot, and then the other one through the smoke. That just worked out well. Lucas. Ooh, I think he got spotted out at mid. Yeah, everybody from SKDC instantly reacting. No. Why? Twister. Okay, he smokes off a main. I'm pretty confused here. Lucas peeking out. Toxic. Nifty shows his head, but Lucas can't react in time. Sponsorless definitely in this. That round was key. Yeah, so one away from tying this up. 10 to 10. And Games Academy, again, that uh, definitely could have worked out for them. Finding that opening onto Invert and such. Invert gets another chance. Hop in hand. Nifty with it as well. And the T side. They've got quite a bit of utility to work with, and I don't mind seeing a little bit of this. As you can see, they all hover around $2,000. They're, they're going to have, if they lose this round, of course, five rounds worth of loss bonus. They'll be fine to buy, and this should give them a good chance to uh, hopefully damage the economy of the CT side and get maybe another bomb plant. And he was lagging inside of spawn, which is really weird to me. It has to be like a PC side issue because they're at yeah. the same house. You look at their ping, it is yeah. identical. But he was stuttering around. That's weird. 
Games Academy now looking to get that bomb plant. A uh, much larger investment than SKDC needed to get that ninja plant down in A, but better weapons, more chance of entries. Good Molotov onto the squeaky door. Actually, there's a ton of Molotov Games Academies. It looks like they're wor it's working against them. Phelps grabs two, though, and an AWP, but goes down to Twister, and the bomb has been lost. So, Bolts, he goes for the bomb plant here. Actually, a bait, Nifty finds Showtime, though. And I was wondering if Bolts was just going to sprint to Quad Box and pick up that op and see if he could do anything with it, but instead, just trying to make it work with the Tech 9, the bait plants and such, but SKDC looked worrisome for a moment there, but they salvage it in the end. Games Academy back on the bot. These expensive AWPs, Games Academy haven't been able to strip them away of the sponsorless side. Now, for any, he knows two ops are on the field, so the likelihood that he's going to have somebody at least attempting a pick against him is pretty high. Uh, look for him to try to open this round up, though he's not taking any position quickly enough. Heading towards the B side, he will meet up with Nifty. This frag is super impactful. Nifty takes the shot while he's flashed, and then any goes for the jump peek. It's a nice way to dodge that angle, knowing that a pre-fire will occur. So at least they force Nifty off, but that's not a ton of map control. Now, now Henny smoked off. He will move up to the boxes, and it looks like they're going to commit behind this invert with the first frag. Nifty. Oh, Henny looked like he had an angle, but switched to his knife. And that is not good at all, as he had a spot spotted that player at default. Ocean takes down Phelps. Things falling apart. Henny onto Ocean, but one on four. Don't push this guy. Right? Thinking about it, he's one of the CTs. And he forced off taking a fight behind him. Already pushed up. That's a dangerous game to play with any yeah. sponsorless get it done with some proper nade work. Now sponsorless looking real strong. They got an economy behind them. Games Academy with enough to buy, but of course they want that op on that star op of any. And they are gonna force up. Will any go for the scout in this situation? Again, there's two ops on the field. And any knows this, but can't find any entries. And SKDC may just take one of their stronger maps. I wonder if that call came from Henny and that uh, thinks that the op moved back and they wanted to take B, being that it was vulnerable, but yeah, it just did not pan out. But it looks like they're heading towards B again, and they just want to test Nifty with this AWP. He's got Ocean with him here, and actually a quick rotate from Invert. There's going to be two ops they're going to have to fend off. Invert caught with an 8 out. Nifty inside of the smoke here inside of the bomb site, and that's never a fun situation. Lucas takes him down immediately, and Invert falls as well. So hectic. Games Academy is launching the chaos at him. There's so many angles to deal with as Games Academy enter the bomb site, and these Tech 9 frags have been looking good. Now Lucas with the AWP inside the site. Sponsor is going to attempt. They have a ton of smokes and flashes to use, but no Molotov to clear off the bomb site, and there's so many Games Academy members stacked in the site, and he, the only player not in the site, gets two as Sponsorless tries to exit out of the CT spawn, but they are denied. All tied up 11 to 11, and that's perfect for Games Academy, winning uh, a half by. And that was such a smart idea from them as well. Last time they tried that, it was a retake that Sponsorless was able to, uh, to to make happen, but they took down both of the players, at least in my memory, uh, immediately. Just smoking in the front of the bomb site again. Yeah, the, the round was nifty. I think just had an M4A1S. Ocean had that ump at the back of the bomb site. You couldn't spam down the planner, so that's a really nice set smoke strat. And if they decide to play the bomb site, it's so difficult. And both times Games Academy with the mobile Tech Nines, they're the ones that push those smokes and uh, it's been proven hard to deal with for SKDC. One of the things I also liked about it is, is the pace in which they did it. They didn't wait. They jumped across. They forced the opper back. That was intel gathered in the previous round. That opper is going to fall back to the bomb site. Then they try to execute as fast as, po as fast as possible. The retake already got there from Sponsorless, but the idea was there from uh, Games Academy. Oh, instant reaction. Off of the intel gain from the previous round. Now Games Academy look to be setting up for an A play. The smoke's lined up outside of A main. Now going to collapse. The rotate's going to be pretty fast. No, not as fast as I anticipated. So invert. He's had a bit of a cold map thus far. Molotov coming into the corner might heat him up. No pun intended. As here we go. Oh, what an excellent flashbang. Phelps gets two for free. 
And Twister will be there, and he capitalizes. Takes down two as well, but traded off. Leaves Nifty alone in Z. And I think Showtime spotted him out as well, so not looking good for SKDC as Games Academy. I'm going to take this round. We'll see if Nifty can actually pose a threat here. Now he's caught out by Henny. Henny playing a nice off angle towards Truck. Waits for Nifty to shift on out. And Games Academy back in the lead. Now the save from SKDC first time on their CT side that they're forced to do this. I thought if Nifty got one, maybe two more kills that we'd see a force buy out of SKDC. Otherwise, I don't know why he was going for... Maybe if he was going for the win in a one-on-three with the op. I mean, we've seen it before, but really risky. So I, it seems like they're going for some economic damage to force him the next round. And he grabs the frag onto the falling L, jumping out from heaven. Six shot. By any, I don't know how he reacts to that. I'm jealous, Chad. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's something. Twister takes down Phelps underneath the boost in middle. But Bolt's right back at him. Just fires through that smoke and we'll drop Twister. So, still have that three-player stack toward B. But at this point, we're peaking, giving Showtime a lot to work with. Even decides to get it done with the Glock, or tries to anyhow. Invert. Looking for the repeak. Showtime with the Glock gets it done. So 13 to 11. Games Academy is three rounds away from closing this out 2 0. And then SKDC do have enough to go for a buy here, short of some utility, but imagine this is their chance. And while practicing, how reliant is SKDC on the double op setup? Now they have zero. That can have a big impact. And again, no incendiaries for the retake or anything. And what's Games Academy going to open up with? Any getting boosted up at mid. No ops in the hands of Sponsorless. Any going way out middle. Nobody peeking it from the CT side. Twister thinking about it from Z. Oh, we have events boost going on. That's Ocean now up in vents. But with any boosted up in mid, waiting for that vents player, I think Games Academy are going to be really patient this round. Invert peeking squeaky. Fires a couple shots but gets out of there. Lucas took some damage through that mid-warehouse early in the round. And yeah, a lot of this comes down to what can Henny work in middle. No peaks as of yet. Twister is just playing the angle so you can spot them come towards vents. But other than that, not really watching. Invert playing up, up, up and over the smoke. This is where he got one of the excellent op shots. He's looking for the double spray down, but can't find it. Twister looking to take down more than one, but he runs out of bullets. Can't get that pistol out in time. Ocean versus three coming into A, make that two. He deals with A main. Now Games Academy immediately rotate back to the other bomb site. Nifty, he's still worried about Ocean over towards the Didn't... A side, but he gets juked out. What's up, Chad? Did they break the vents on their way back in? I swore that I heard it on Nifty's point of view, but... Uh... I think it was there was a Molotov earlier. Oh, okay. My mistake then. Well, two on two with not a lot of hit points on Games Academy. Excellent transition, Chad. <laughs> Phelps and any sponsorless staying silent here. I'm gonna smoke in a flash. They can smoke out B main, isolating any, and now any is forced to make a move. But he's got a Molotov for the bomb. Do we have a smoke? Yes, we have a smoke in the hands of Nifty, and now Any's gonna realize, oh man, I gotta book it. And Ocean already with his eyes on it. Any can he hit the spam through the smoke? He's got one more chance, but he can't do it. That would have been dirt nasty. Definitely, but not going to find the shot. Uh, that was such a rough spot to be in, though, for Henny. Would have been an unreal shot if he could have made it. He made it. Hit the shot. He makes it next time. Could be. Could be. Definitely. I mean, you don't want to put it past someone like Henny did a shot like that. That is for certain. And, well, speaking of which, still can afford him an op moving into this round. So, Teams Academy. They do drop that one, but big round underway. Both teams' economy not exactly in a great spot. Now, this round... Critical for both teams' success. An invert, there he is. Pushes into Squeaky. Not the only aggressive opera in this in this match. And Games Academy still going to commit into the A bomb site. Invert is going invert. crazy, pushing up to the toxic this man. He's out of his mind. Do they expect him to be here? They're moving on out. He spots one in Showtime. Takes the shot. Henny onto Else. They made it into the bomb oh. site, and Invert does take down Lucas. Two left. On a quad, one on site. That was so sick. The flick by Invert. I don't know how much mouse pad this guy has, but it seems to never end. 
trapped in the bomb site. That's invert with four. This is a complete the ace and ocean will take it away from them. 13 to 13. Sponsor, let's take a big one. And does Games Academy buy here? But that op of invert, the guy, I don't know. I gotta ask him his sensitivity. Yeah, he uh, he performed some really nice play in that situation. Slow uh, shot, just carefully onto showtime as they came out towards Fork. And then, yeah, that next one, flick shot as he's trying to enter that smoke, that T. So well, well, let's talk about what Games Academy are. are what's what's their plan? They they're ob they obviously have a de like some sort of debate or some sort of not quarrel, but. Trying to figure out what's going on here on their T side. They have two rounds loss bonus. If they save one, they'll have everything they want. So I like them going for just an armor tech nine buy. That's been so successful for them. They have a chance of winning off of it. We've seen them convert one, maybe even two times if my memory serves me right. But if they go for a force buy here, they're going to be lacking a lot in terms of utility. So we'll see what their decision is. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious because, yeah, obviously that smoke take on B has proven to be very effective. Do you do it now with a bit of a half buy or do you save it for a situation where they actually have all the equipment? Uh, I think it's a difficult decision. I actually like it on a bit of a half buy because of the way that they've been pushing those smokes on the bomb site itself. They're just so mobile with the Tech-9. But, but on the other side, if you go for the W right here... Because they know sponsorless equipment is low. The yep. double op setup isn't on the field anymore for, for a reason. Because their economy's busted up. So they could go for the kill. Let's look at what happens if they win this round. Sponsorless are down one point. It's 14-13. Usually they'd be looking at a double safe. But they're going to buy. They're going for the kill. All right. Well, let's see what they got. I, I'm going to go with the prediction here. Just say it's going to be that B-side hit with smokes. What are you thinking? A also looks, I, I just, if I had to place a bet, my prop bet would be it won't be middle. All right, it won't be middle. All right, we'll see how it plays out. To be fair, Henny doesn't have an op, so I think that's stopped. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. They definitely could have. Chad. Still work middle anyhow. <laughs> we got the bomb and three other members early heading towards A. It's going to be bolts off towards B. So they're trying to get sponsorless to burn their utility over towards the a side but now it gets a little confusing to them because there's no there's no counters being thrown out from the sponsorless side at the a bomb site the whole plan was to immediately fake back towards the b side but there's no intel for games academy to work off of now the a bomb site's clear and they're heading back to b with the bomb what's going on here they've pulled a lot of players over Oh man, just such confusion. If they just executed B, to be fair, Nifty's the only one there. I think they're just so confused, but they catch Nifty on the rotation out, and that That's is so, big. so massive. Bomb site to Games Academy. And they still have two smokes. Lucas as well as Bolts are going to put it down, burn a lot of time. Flank coming through from two different angles, and then a reflank by Games Academy. That's Phelps. He's thinking about coming through. Vent spots went out, and now he's delaying for middle player dedicating that's ocean deals with the flank but that's a lot of valuable time now expired the setup from games academy this is so critical that they take this one for both teams it's evened out three on three here luke is in the bomb site but the rest of his teammates are coming up big sponsor was taken from numerous prongs but they're dealt with on every front in games academy that looks so desperate for them it utter confusion they yep. try to fake towards the a-bomb site they burn valuable smokes and flashes that they, they don't even have a lot of uh, or a lot of money to begin with. So they try to bait the smokes and flashes and the counter nades out of sponsorless towards uh, the A side. Then there's nothing. Then they take into the bomb site and it's open. They're already rotating the bomb back to uh, back to B. <laughs> what do you call? What a round. And yeah, yeah, the fact that they played truck, no defense inside. Like, how often do you see that as well? Like. You'll see that on pistol round, but how often otherwise would you see just one player at truck and forfeiting the bomb site? It's just, it's, you just don't usually see it. And yeah, I think it was Henny specifically just scrambling. He was even firing through smokes at, at one point once he entered into A, didn't see anything from the spots he cleared. He's worried that someone must be lurking behind a smoke, but well, it works out for Games Academy. Nifty's got to be kicking himself that he was rotating out without the call that uh, the bomb was there. And even at that point, to be fair, 
the the rotation had already went in and it was almost like they were coming on back towards middle and such and that's when he decided to uh kind of backpedal out of ct spawn but or, it looked like uh, towards both tree. teams were confused because why definitely would, why would nifty rotate yeah because the bomb um, site is already in in control of games academy there's nobody in there for sponsorless so both teams in the midst of the confusion but games academy come out on top so i gotta pause here it's a tactical one from skdc and what can they come up with they've got twister with that ak but they're going for the w yeah and i like this considering the score line um uh I, yeah i just go for it try and make it 14 14 the t side they've got 4600 on bolts 1400 on henny if they win it they're they're back into it if they if they win it they're probably going to win unless we see another games academy tech nine round because the thought process behind the buy here, you save and have Fomuses, limited utility, maybe one or two players with kits, not, no, no head armor. Or you go for the W right now because you know Games Academy, they're still a little strapped for cash. And the next two rounds, uh, you should have an easier time winning, at least getting the tie versus an anti-eco if Games Academy then are willing to go for the force or not. So there's a lot of ifs. But it'll all be quelled if Games Academy win this round right here. If you're just joining us, Games Academy had taken map number one. Not nearly as close as this one. This one has been back and forth. And it all comes down to the force buy. So here we go. Invert with the Deagle, Ocean and Else, five sevens. And some automatic rifles on Twister and Nifty. They'll stack towards B and take it a page out of the Games Academy book here. Looking for some Ooh. aggression and Twister finds it. I thought Bolts had his number, but they'll continue, and that could be their demise here. No, it's not. Two frags going their way, and it's now a two on three. This round is so crazy. Everybody out of position at this point, but oh, Twister God. continues the aggression, holding that W button, hit the NOS. Oh, I thought they were going to fall off of that, but they just keep going. Like you said, I thought it might be their demise, but instead ends up working out even better. And now one of the brothers. Can't figure out how to say their last name, if it's Teles or Teles, but one of the Teles brothers. Lucas, he's strolling around A. He's got a lot of time, and if he comes through squeaky, the door's already open, the welcome mat is out. You know, check that spot that they boosted Showtime into. I like that, Tez. Will SKDC expect this angle? And how long does Lucas stay quiet? He's, he's definitely not quiet anymore. A couple shots towards Ocean. And he'll smoke Ocean off. There's two players on the left, though. Looking for the pop flash play. He will white screen else, and not a lot of HP here on Twister. Looking for a highlight, but Ocean peaks the smoke and will win the round. That got hectic, though. One save for AKs. Not a lot of utility. Look at Showtime, Phelps, and Lucas. They're going to get 18 next round without a bomb plant. They're just looking at AK armor. Or do you go for the W right here? If they win right here, then the next buy of Sponsorless is going to be busted, and they're going to go with a half buy, a light buy. Their next round isn't going to be that well equipped unless they get the bomb down here. So we see the differences and the mindsets, the buying preferences of the teams. The Games Academy, they're in it for the long haul. They want to tie it. it if uh, if they can't win this one twister putting a lot of damage into bolts already you know dink him at that boost so actually decide to switch up give henny the ak-47 even though he doesn't have armor actually they're gonna shift it all around phelps is like nah i got this guys but heads up onto the boost twister is not peeking at the moment and he's their only mid presence on the ct side they just keep falling that one ak back I like it. You need to boost more players up, make sure it's recyclable. Now taking some mid control, Twister exposes himself from Z, only gets one. Not bad for Games Academy here. They're trying to do as much economic damage as possible as well. Monsterless, they're quite low. And rebuying weapons will cut into the utility. Now the crunch begins on to A. These players caught on a position. Invert caught looking the wrong way. And they get the second one. Games Academy. This is massive. I was so scared for Invert in that spot. And what I was envisioning came to fruition. Oh. As Lucas finds Ocean. Nifty. All alone. They don't have the bomb planted yet. This incendiary. Uh, it's, it's it's good for quad and it might force bolts to peak left no not even so 
I mean, plan for A main and all, he already taken a lot of damage and he'll fall. Games Academy. What a round to pick up. What are we watching, Laser? So, you know there's mid control for Games Academy, the amount of numbers that were spotted from your Z guy. We have one at forklift. The other guy looked like he was NBK or quad or something like that. Correct me. Yeah, it was one default on site ish, and then invert was at fork. I believe that was the case. So that is a bad setup when it comes down to already mid control for the T's because all it needs, all you need, is one more angle from from the T side executing. And we saw invert. He can't cover both a main as well as uh, highway at the same time, and that was that. Yeah, and Invert actually whiffed so hard on the second. There was one player that exited A main. The That's second like one see, was Chad. Bolts. Call some people out. Oh, he whiffed so hard. It was ridiculous. That Bolts, I think, had maybe four hit points. He had. He was so low. And uh, Invert decided to drop a smoke, and that's when they pushed Fork and ended up pushing A main. But he had a huge opportunity to take that player down and uh, would have probably meant that he could focus back towards Fork. But anyhow, neither here nor there. Sponsor list. Sponsor Liss, as they've got a boost in middle, Twister, on the head of else. They're not actually boosting over, they're just working a vertical stack here, and I'm not going to lie, usually you'll see at some point that they might boost over, but even if they don't, this is a decent stack. Yeah, or at least get that player boosted up a bit further, and then just leave him there, but maybe worried about the counter boost from Games Academy. They're spread out are the Brazilians here. They will eventually commit onto the B side, or so it would seem, but they're going to begin throwing an A fake. How successful is it? So far, one highway, one truck, and now Twister will go on to the flank at A, which leaves only one man at B. Oh, boy. And it is going to be Ocean at the back of the bomb site. They do have Els. Ooh, Els just spotted Henny. He's slowly walking behind. This could be the wild card play. He spots out Henny. Henny spots him. Whiffing. He gets the up, but he loses his teammate in the bomb site and goes down 16 to 14. Games Academy take it 2 0. SKDC formerly showing that they're no slouch on this map, though. It, it came down so close. If Invert doesn't fail in that situation, we're probably looking at OT, maybe even a map number three. That's what it boiled down to just setups and lack of fragging ability in the end. I mean, sponsorless making a, a lot of adjustments as well. We saw that preemptive pause after they just won a round. That was crazy from them. And Games Academy, what I'm seeing from their CT side, I'm really loving. It's way more active than we've seen previously. But poor, poor SKDC. I mean, that's as close as you can get. And if they don't get ecoed in those situations, they probably win map number two. Yeah, and then Inferno would have been our third. And I'd, I would have definitely liked to see that as I've just really enjoyed watching both of these teams. Big fan of either one. But uh, that's going to be that 2-0 Games Academy. Move on. And that is going to be it for our broadcast this evening. Our next match is bright and early tomorrow morning. Yes, indeed. So we've got... At 12 EST, Arctic versus HD4R. That's going to be a best one in our lower bracket for the European Open. At 3.30 EST, we've got uh, a best of three. That's Public Clear versus Optimum. And uh, again, that's upper bracket action, I believe. I'm, I thought I was missing something there, but I don't think I am, actually. And then we've got uh, two matches going on at the same time tomorrow night for a Winter Classic 2 and I'm excited for both of them. Unfortunately, when you're casting one, you can't watch the other. It's just the way it goes. But uh, both are starting at 10 p.m. EST. Hopefully, you guys got dual monitors. Uh, we got Splice versus Wusam. That's going to be excellent. We get to see Odaris in action again. See how Splice is uh, coming back from their MLG Minor. And they got Obey versus Sore Gaming. Two teams that will obey. They were at the MLG Minor as well. I don't think they performed as well as they'd like. I think they took a forfeit loss in their first match because they didn't have a fifth. And, uh, and then Sore, another... Uh, uh, my understanding is a big cod org and uh, they're coming over and stuff and i think launders on that lineup and such so uh so yeah I i'm very excited to see how those ones go but till then we hope you guys have a good one so see you guys later